we live? Yes. Are we live? Doing it live! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Twist Gaming. Tonight, we are doing things a little different. Typically, we are all hanging out in the room playing board games at the table, but we are showing you a really cool innovation in technology, an uh, application called Tabletopia. So we have everybody all over the country playing a really cool board game online together. So we are all in Skype tonight. Ooh. Wait, hi, everybody. Ooh. Say hello. Uh, most importantly, who are we? I'm Anne. I'm Josh. I'm Jeff. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. Hey, good. And we are joined with the designer of Tortuga 1667. Travis. Hi. Yeah, I'm Travis. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, so tonight we're going to be playing the game in Tabletopia. This is all, well, obviously aside from Travis, uh, our first time playing the game. We're really excited. We all have our uh, Twist Gaming chat up in the other window. So if you have any questions, make sure that you're asking them. That's what I got for you. Yeah, just don't look yeah. at my screen. Good That's... job, man. Oh, <gasps> I get to see your loyalty card. I flipped it over before anyone would notice it. Damn. <laughs> uh, Travis, do you want to start us off by giving us a quick rundown in the rules of the game? Yeah, so uh, basically each player is going to have a secret loyalty to either the British or the French. And the goal of the game is to have the most treasure in your team's treasure holds. Uh, by the time the game ends. The game ends when um, we reveal the Spanish Armada card, which is at the bottom of this deck here. Um, yeah, so during the game, uh, there's there's votes that happen, so captains can call for attacks where they'll try to get treasure from the Spanish Galleon here. First mates, who are the people in the, the second position on a ship, they can call for a mutiny to try to toss their captain overboard if they think they're not on their team. And... Um, if you're on Tortuga, if you're at the top, you can call for a brawl, which controls these two treasures on Tortuga. Uh, yeah, so there's, we don't know who's on what team. Um, it may reveal itself throughout the game, but, but that's that's part of it. <laughs> and on your turn, you get you get one action. So for most players, that's you can either just reveal one of these five cards, and something will happen to the revealer. Or you can view two of them secretly, so you just you pick them up and view them. Um, or you can force someone else to pick one of them. So you point to two of them and, and force someone else to, to pick it. Um, basically, some of these are good and some of them are bad. So if you just reveal randomly, you have a risk of, of hurting yourself pretty bad. That's the advantage of viewing first. Um, yeah, and then if you're... If you're in one of the special positions, so like if you're the captain, you can call for an attack as your action instead of dealing with these cards. Uh, you can also just throw someone overboard if you're the captain, one of your crewmates. And if you're the first mate, you can call for mutiny. If you're a cabin boy, which is the player at the back of a ship, you can move one treasure from one hold to the other as your action. And if you're the governor, you can call for a brawl. So. Yeah, that's kind of the basics. Very cool. So how do we start with the setup? You've gone over uh, some of the components. We've got everything pretty much set up. Well, there's a couple of gold pieces in this ship. We should probably... Do we start with one gold that's piece good. each? Yeah, the yeah. The last person to buy a boat goes first. <laughs> to buy a boat? In, in typical what? board game fashion. It's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so we, we draw the pegs out of the bag, right? Yeah, yep. So the first one you draw out will go in the captain spot of the Dutchman, flying Dutchman. And the next one will be the captain of the Jolly Roger. So I'm the captain of the flying Dutchman? That's a giant piece. What did you... <laughs> what did I do? Uh, and Josh is captain of the Jolly Roger. Ooh. Ooh. All right. And then, Why are and the next one will be green. first mate. Yep. Green is awesome. first mate. Travis is with Anne. Excellent. Excellent, okay. Josh. <laughs> that is great. Let us sink their ship and murder them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but the, the catch is exactly. you might you might not be on the same team as a player on your ship. 
Well, Josh, so, you are, of that. course, of the... Uh, well, we're the same nationality, aren't we, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't remember what nationality I am. Yeah. Uh, you're from Europe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you want to just go ahead and flip that loyalty I, card? I over? might have. <gasps> Wait, can I get back one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and what are you? So What's your loyalty? Blue, blue goes first? Uh, the Hi. captain of the Jolly Roger will go first. So. Oh, so I go first. Oh. Oop, oop. I didn't mean hey, to do hey, it. Hey, put that back. <laughs> That's mine. Sorry. Now, don't cheat and look at my screen, because I'm going to look at two of these cards. I'm totally right. flipping over right so now. So you're using an action. To look yeah. at two of these cards. You two have been friends. You want to maroon me? Thank you, captain. That's so nice of you. <laughs> So I am both the first mate and the captain, right? Yep. Interesting. Or first mate and the captain. Right, right, yeah. So I can call for a mutiny <laughs> on a two-man boat. How'd that gonna work out exactly? So with that one, so you'd put in a vote card, yeah, which, I, he, which would probably be a skull. No, so just the people on your ship. So the captain does not vote in mutinies, but you would add <laughs> one from the deck. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and if so, I throw him off, what happens? If you throw him off, he will go to Tortuga. It cool. In my screen, it's a giant piece. I know it's not in yours. Calm down with that thing. <laughs> Put me back. It's not. <laughs> relax. All right. So I did my turn. I looked at two of the cards. All right. You okay, so go clockwise. You are red. Which loyalty person are you? I'm the one in the back. Over here, so we'll put the boat here. Is that the, supposed to be the first player? <laughs> is that a is that a boat? It looks it's like an explosion. That is, that is an explosion token. Yeah. Ah. Never mind. <laughs> or a boat, you know. We'll, just, we'll put it on their boat for now. <laughs> so I think it's Travis is next. Uh, we go clockwise, right? Did blue just go or red just go? Red go. Just went... Yeah. Okay, I will. I'm feeling crazy. I'll just reveal one actually. Reveal this one. Ooh. A letter okay. of mark. Okay, so this one, how do I rotate a card, by the way? Uh, right click and I'll let you do it. Or you can double click and I'll just make it big for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this one, um, you can send someone, um, anyone on Tortuga to the back of the line on either ship, or you can save it and use it later. So I'll just save it. So I'll keep this. All right. Stuff. Not so bad. Uh, so then it's yeah. my turn? Okay, so then we, do we draw a new chart, a new card out of the yes. deck? Yes. I don't. I don't think that's how cards go, Jeff. There we go. Uh, how do you how do you rotate there. that? I right clicked on it and I went to the rotate button. And oh, okay. <laughs> made it ninety and then one eighty. Okay, I. I feel like that didn't that didn't turn out so bad for Travis. I think that I'm gonna grab an event card which one right. you this get one black right spot get black spot do it no I hate you. flip it over you... no what i'm just not gonna you tell doing? you guys ever <laughs> eight bells eight okay. bells all pawns on revealer's boat or island are put into the pouch <laughs> and drawn out randomly back onto that boat island so that either travis or i are going to come out as the captain that's yeah that exactly Where's our discard pile going to be? Uh, you should put it to the other side of the deck. Put it up here. That's fine, yeah. So <laughs> Just then... put it in the. You're gonna draw the. <laughs> you're gonna draw it out of the bag when you go get the token. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. So that's your new order there. Okay, so now I'm the first mate. And now it is my turn. Wait, and I gotta put I back on there. I am going to use my cabin boy action to move a treasure. Because we're both French, right, Captain? Right, um, Captain. That's the wrong boat. <laughs> yeah, wrong boat. <laughs> <laughs> we already have it on the French side. We don't have any treasure. We oh, have one. It's on the French boat. side. Oh, because we're both French, right, Captain? Yeah, we have I a French ship. Do that. Never mind. 
<laughs> well, I need to do is call for a mutiny to get rid of you. No! <laughs> All right, I call for a mutiny. Yes! All right. What happened? So you will put in one vote card secretly, just face down, and then we'll add them from the deck, shuffle those together, and then reveal them, and a majority of crossbones will send How do we them overboard. Them together? I do not know. <laughs> That's really good. You keep on doing that. Oh, is there right. is there a shuffle function like right click or something? I, I didn't this see. This is one. doing it pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know which one's which anymore. <laughs> I certainly forgot which card was mine. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, flip. <laughs> nope. There we go. Uh, in a tie, what happens? In a tie, the captain stays. Yes. Oh, captain, you're. St I saved you. <laughs> Do you want to um? Explain for the folks at home how it was a tie. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the bottom section on on the vote cards is where mutinies are decided. So you'll see one of them has a crossbones, which would have mutinied the captain, and one is a helm, which is favorable for the captain. So so he stays. And then you'll shuffle those again, and you'll take one back, and then the other one goes at the bottom of the deck. Actually, no, sorry. You, you shuffle both, place them at the bottom of the deck, and then you draw a new one from the deck, from the vote deck. So you always have three vote cards, basically. So I draw a new vote card. Yeah. Okay. All right, they're back on the deck. Well, Captain, I think we should attack next, but, you know. You just tried to mutiny him. I don't know exactly how well he's going to be open to your suggestion. So now it's a new round, right? Uh, it's, well, it's Red's turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a new round. keep going around like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going around. Cool. Okay. All right, so if we want to attack, we both have to put a card down. Jeff, do you have a, a light or an attack? Or what do you have for your attack I have, cards? A, I have a cannon for you, Captain. I have a cannon? All right, I can put fire down. Y yar, let's blast them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's mine. Hold All on. Right. Let me... And do we take a random oh. vote card, too, or just the two cards? You do take a random vote card as well. All right, so they got a third one. And now you got to shuffle. <laughs> this is so incredibly amusing watching you. All right, so what do we have? That's good. We have fire. We have cannon. Oh, and a water. Ah, uh, failure. Why did you sabotage this cannon? I did it. I don't believe you. All right, so. Okay, so the for those at home, uh, the now that it's all in a pile. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, I fixed it. <laughs> The uh, stick, the fire stick, the boomstick. It's not a boomstick. It's a, it's a, a torch. torch. It's a, yeah. Uh, gets <laughs> negated by the bucket of water. And then what does the cannon mean? You need a so cannon need, to fire something. Yeah, you need a cannon <laughs> and a torch to succeed. But there's no successful torch in this attack since it was put out by the water. So the attack does not succeed. But if the attack does succeed, then the captain will get to take one of these treasures from the galleon place it on their boat and either it's oh, treasure hold. Need that fat loot. Uh, Jeff, did you get a new vote card? No. There we go. Okay, I'm, right. I'm going to view two cards for my action. Should I shuffle the deck? Uh, sh doesn't hurt. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Did it shuffle? Is that what it said? Yeah, it just shuffled. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there is a way to do it, we just don't know how yet. Oh, oh no, that's draw. That's shuffle. Take. <laughs> Give me all this, stuff. This, this must be very entertaining for an audience. I like that Travis hasn't picked up his is loyalty Travis card yet. Turn? So what? Why How do you pick pawn in a rowboat? <laughs> yeah, why am I in a rowboat? Josh's yeah, I... piece is incredibly. Like, I sent you guys a snippet in the Skype chat. It's just an absolutely giant flat pawn in my window, and I can't get rid of it. That's why I put it in the bag. I was kind of hoping that I put it in the bag. <laughs> just, you. just refresh your window. <laughs> but that would kick me out of the game. Oh no, it's so big. It's giant. <laughs> it's like it's all insane. over the board. It looks like it was smashed by something. <laughs> it's as big as the board. So, 
I was trying to put the I was trying to put the gold away, but it wouldn't because his pawn is over the boat. It kept on falling on top of the pawn and wouldn't go in the boat. All right. It's obnoxious. All right, so Travis, you looked at All two right. cards. Yeah, I looked at two cards. Now it's Anne's turn. Anne's turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to take an event card because this isn't working out so bad for me. Okay, this is the event card that I'm taking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh no. Letter of Mark. So the Letter of Mark is Revealer may send any player on Tortuga or a rowboat to the back of the line on either ship, or they may save this card in front of them and use it as, as a later action. So would this take up my action? Like I would not be able to pull a new event card? Correct. Yeah, that would take your action. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that. That's because okay. All right. Well, it's mutiny time again. <laughs> what, what really? We're on the same team. Are we? Yes. We'll never know, will we? <laughs> Apparently not. So I think it's worth noting we're talking a lot about teams. Just as a reminder, uh, this is a game with an even number of players. So you have the French team and you have the English team. You, you uh, did it. If, what did you guys do? Are you mutinied? No. He's fine. I'm you fine. Yep. If this were a game with an odd number of players, you would have a third team, which would be the Dutch. Okay, I'm done. Your did turn. you grab a new uh, vote card? Yep. Uh, are we going to attack again? Instead of you trying to like take me uh, off each time? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Do you attack. have fire? I have fire. Yeah. Okay, because I don't have the fire. Most dysfunctional boat ever. Whatever, you haven't done anything either. You suck. <laughs> you suck, I hate you. We got a vote card too, right? Yeah. There we go. You, you're shuffling this fantabulous. <laughs> Travis, what helped you make the decision to add the third team into the game? That kind of that mechanic. Yeah, so so with the Dutch player, they they only win if the game ends in a tie, basically. Um, just to for odd odd numbered games, right. just kind of worked out the best. It's kind of a fun right. fun but, mechanic. Uh, kind of play both sides. Where are you bringing that chest, Captain? That chest is coming to the French side. So the boys, so the guys, they won because they had two cannons and a fire, so they had the requisite cannon and fire. Yeah. You know what? I misjudged you, Captain. <laughs> I told you. You're right. I misjudged you. <laughs> just like, I was just going to take you out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I should go to the other boat, and I should. <laughs> Meet you there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll go sabotage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll attack for, for my turn. Um, and do you, do you have a cannon by chance? I don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, maybe we won't then. <laughs> it just has three buckets of water. <laughs> I... Let's see. Let's drown them. I'm just going to reveal this one right here. All right, the oh. black spot. So the revealer is marooned. Oh, yeah. That would, that would be you. He's now the me. governor of Tortuga. That's right. I mean, that's something. Yeah. And that makes me the captain. I am captain now. Yes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even fire your own cannon. This is not the problem. I am captain now. <laughs> you shouldn't maroon yourself. Why? Why not? You can go join your teammate on the island. And leave my gold behind? Do you exactly. not know where my priorities lie? <laughs> that, was, that was not smart. Okay, so you have the black spot. That's... <laughs> Josh's giant pawn in my screen is now sandwiched between the two cards. Put it, put him away then. See if he. I did. That's what I did before, and he comes. Uh, do you, did you just pick everything oh, up? Oh, you picked did, up a lot I of just stuff. How'd right, you do it. that? I'm dropping it because I tried to pick up Josh's giant pawn. Oh, no, it's still giant. Is it fixed? Nope. What if I lock it? Now it's flying around the room. What if I rotate it? No. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, now. No. Ah! <laughs> we can just kick him out of the game. I'd be what okay. If I flip him around, does that help? Fast <laughs> 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 is flying across the room. And it's your turn. Stop trying to play with my pawn. <laughs> All right.
life. I'm going to. I'm gonna boat by myself. You're gonna I'm on a boat. Boat. What should? Can... What can I do? Look you can card. still attack on your own. You don't, don't have a great have... shot, but. <laughs> Yeah, because I'd have, have to pull a, a cannon, you have a right? You 50 shot? Well, what's a, the card break out of that deck? Yeah, so it's, let's see, 40% are flames, 30% cannon, 30% water. So if you play a cannon, you have a 40% shot of victory. Yeah. So Better, I mean, you got this. You feeling lucky? <laughs> Feel lucky, punk? You British bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, no, I'm just going to pull an event. <laughs> All right. Just gonna. This is what I'm gonna pull, and it's gonna be the player automatically dies. Ooh, Stormy seas. <laughs> ah! All treasure on the revealer ship is returned to the Spanish galley, and if the revealer is on Tortuga, the Tortuga treasures are returned to their original treasure areas. Okay, so I'm not, but now I have a boat with no treasure. Yeah. Maybe I yep. really. Should that's accurate. We're doing Maybe real good. Though. Let's get rid of this treasure you don't have anymore. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Now it's on its side. <laughs> Thanks, it. It's my turn now? Yeah. Uh, well, this let's see here. This what card, can I yeah. do as the first mate? Well, for a mutiny. Yep, <laughs> done that twice already. <laughs> Did it work out very well for you? I know, uh, I know how that one works. Um, I'm going to look at two cards. All right. It's a card. <laughs> Should I grab either of those cards, Jeff? Nope. Nope. All right, I'm gonna nope. grab. I'm gonna reveal the middle card because I'm pretty sure I saw it before. As long as it's not one of those two. Really gives to one? any other player. Owner is protected from one spot, black spot, one pistol, one captain's action to maroon, or one successful mutiny. Discard after use. So you can give it to me. That's Jeff. Fine. You can have no, that. No, you should. Thank you, He's Captain. I've been so loyal to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I should have see why you'd want to reward me. <laughs> did you did you have a fire card by the way? Because I probably should have asked that first. Uh yeah. Oh, all right. Well, attack next time. <laughs> no, this is good though. Now I'm eternally <laughs> youthful. I can mutiny forever now. Can I discard one of my vote cards to pick up a new one? Nope. Uh, you cannot. <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck with what I have. You gotta yeah. use it. I mean, you use them and you get a new one, but... Okay, I'm gonna call for a brawl on my turn. Attack. That'll get rid of your thing. Let's okay. play a vote card. Everyone plays one? No, just just the people on Tortuga, so it's just me. Okay. Just you. Uh, full shelf full of us, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Best shuffling job ever, guys. Right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Teamwork. Okay, so we got a French and a British. Alright. All right, so they stay there, one and one. All right. I will draw new. No, nope, stay there. Right. Okay, I'm going to call for an attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. See. That so there's my vote card. And there's the random one. Okay, you guys can don't, shuffle. Don't bother shuffling. You know job. you have a name. For... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Oh, he, she put out is her own flame. No, no, it's a oh, water. water. It's an epic fail is what it is. Yeah, um, you just put your torch okay. out. And I grab a new vote card. Yep. Let me light the torch and put it out. <laughs> okay. I got uh, scared. Let's see. I'm going to look at two event cards. I'll do the middle. You could also have someone else grab one of the two cards you saw, Jeff. You can point to yeah. those two and say, hey, well, you need I'm to grab one. I'm telling you not to touch them. I know. You can make Anne or Travis grab them, though. That's you can shut <laughs> your mouth over there. That's what you can do. Uh, um, all right. So, Josh, I want you to grab. Hold on. It's over. I like how me and Jeff are working as a team, and Anne and Travis are just like. Yeah, I mean, this is probably well, the correct. Do their own thing. <laughs> right now. Yeah, no, what are you doing? Put that back. 
<laughs> right. <Cheating. laughs> She's trying right to now. get out of here with that. <laughs> All right, Josh, draw that card that she's trying to mess with. <laughs> the one she like locked down. Yeah. But I'll you have to card, so tell him, to tell him two cards, and he has to pick one of them. No, it's his turn. My turn. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Oh, gotcha. So, can, can, can you unlock that card? I can't <laughs> unlock it. Card. You're not gonna have one anymore. <laughs> I unlocked it. I unlocked it. It won't let me touch it. I legit unlocked it. You did not unlock it. I it's did. Blue, and it's locked. <laughs> I, no, <laughs> I have the option to unlock it. Drag it around. Okay. Just flip it over for me. Over here. There you go. Game's over. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. So usually, the armada should have been place at the bottom of the event deck, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we can do a oh, second no, game no, I, and do it better. Yeah, we can just start over and start a new game now that we know we're doing. Well, okay. I and want if we draw the armada, we'll just move it to the bottom. Are we going to flip over our loyalty cards? Yeah. Obviously, I'm French. Yeah. Thanks. British. Frenchy. French. All right. Why is it three French? French? That's our boss. French. Uh, what was that? Problem. Who cheated? <laughs> who created this game? You know what I think? <laughs> who made this game? Travis, why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> you know what? There's setups. All right. We did not set up correctly. For more people, yeah. so I bet you it's it's. No, it's set up for four. Of... No, no, no. But do you see the table, the grayed out areas? They don't. Doesn't no. let you choose. What? It doesn't let you choose. I understand, but I bet you the other loyalty cards are under there. Uh-huh. Okay. So we might just have to set up manually, just kind of grab two of each. Yep. Uh, Can we? All right, so let me reset sure. the game. Yep. Then we'll flip over all the loyalty cards, make sure there's two of each, and then, then we'll flip them yeah. over and we'll shuffle them and then hand them back out. Yeah, and the other the other setup thing. So in the deck there are there are eight cards that have stars on them, and you're supposed to only use three in each game. Um, so I don't know how the best way to do that would be, but basically we need to remove five starred cards. How many cards should be in the deck? Um, well, all the cards except. We need to take out five cards that have stars on them. We could just look at them all and take out the first five stars we see and then shuffle it. Will that work? What are we doing? So out of this yeah. out of this deck, we need to get rid of five of them that have stars on them. Okay. So let's just see. So we'll take out Cabin Fever. Because we can reshuffle it after that? Yeah. Alright, we'll take out Storm where, and see. Where are the stars? They're uh, just to the right of the name of the card. Mm, okay. okay, so we'll take out Pirate Code. Oh, I think it's all. Is it all done? Okay. I think it already took them out because there wasn't that many in there. Oh, really? Okay. Now, all right. turn it oh, back into a deck. Put them all back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Why are. Oh, God. So good. This is not. They're not going back. <laughs> Start <Sorry>, over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Start over, and we'll just shovel the loyalty cards. Um, I'm looking. There's an option. <laughs> Stack right. option. And if the armada comes up, we just put it to the side. We'll just put it at the bottom. <laughs> so am I resetting? Restart the game. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what are you scared of? <laughs> By shuffle, I can see what you'd be scared of that giant red pond. 
it, it was ginormous. <laughs> Loyalty card. The tarot says by shuffle, he means watch the cards dance around oh. the board. Yes. See, it set it up right this time. What is. Why are there. Oh, you guys already got to the. <laughs> Do we have the right number? Yes. Uh, yeah, two and two. Why is there a Tortuga card over here? You dragged it. I didn't mean to. Um, and actually, the captain, when the captains are placed, they actually get to choose where this first treasure goes, which okay. holds ah. it in. So, just FYI. So you're gonna re you're gonna tell us your loyalty, Josh. Am I the captain? No, I am captain now. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't want all the cards. I just want one. All right. Take Everyone draw one. You know if you drag your card to the bottom, it drops, right? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, can we go Flying Dutchman first, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright. So far, so good. Normal. Oh, look! Normal sized red pawn. This is good. I'm happy with this setup. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm Anne's little cabin boy now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so blue would go first, and would... Captain Jolly Roger. Okay, so I think we should attack. What, wait, where does everyone start yeah, with the treasure? And no. do you want it on the oh, French yeah, yeah, or the yeah. British side? I don't know because I haven't looked at my loyalty card. Where's my loyalty card? I don't have one. Uh, it's the one sitting on the table still? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> this is like real life. <laughs> um, no, I'm good. So let's attack. Well, I'll, I'll okay. start on the well, French calm side. Down. Do you ha are you French or British? <laughs> Tell me. She started on the French side. All right, do you have a cannon or fire? Both captains I started do. on the French side. Which one? <laughs> I have both. I only have fire. Do you have a cannon? I do. All right, let's attack. Okay. And <laughs> it's flipper, your choice. Flipper. You don't You don't have to say we're attacking. Flipper, flipper? What it, yours you is upside down. There you go. need to add one right, more card. Now, there we go. Okay, you two shuffled. You guys are doing such a great <laughs> job making the cards <laughs> dance. Look at it. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I've... All right, good enough. Like there should be music. What? All right, oh. you got it. All right, where do you want to put that treasure? On this side right here. With the other one. They should be twins. Like, like, nice. like that. Nice. All right, these cards go back in the deck. And it is now... Your turn. My turn. Draw a new vote card. Oh, I should probably do that. And I will now mutiny. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who does? What? Oh, man. You don't get a vote, actually, what? so put that back. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. You don't get no, a vote. The captain doesn't vote. vote in his own mutiny. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should mutiny today, boys. <laughs> Let me throw this card in here. I feel like I should be able to vote in my own mutiny. I have a <laughs> this is <side>. ridiculous. <laughs> I should be able to defend myself. Uh, All right, you got a helm and a cross function. Yes. Can you? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Did you get her or no? No. no. She it somehow. <laughs> this time. It's my turn. Yes. All right, I'm gonna throw the captain off my boat too. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Oh, man. Travis is never going to want to play board games again. <laughs> I mean, it, just the two French people got to be captains, so the That's British don't like sweet. that. <laughs> are you British? Who's, who's, who are you asking? Oh, oh yeah. I'm God. We're God. All right. Harris, you're not doing such a great boats. job staying on the boats. <laughs> I know. Take these boats, British brother. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to view two cards. I'm captain now. Yar. I feel like 
the Jolly Roger is the lucky boat. <laughs> One thing I really did like about this game's uh, Kickstarter campaign was the video. Oh yeah. Overs. That was. Good. Yeah. What was the video? And. Uh, I know. They... I know. <laughs> they were. Uh... It was like all these voice actors. Yeah. Talking as if they were the roles. Yeah, we had yeah. like a French, French girl pirate talking and uh, kind of a gruff. I think we had. Uh, who do we have? We had Henry Morgan was doing one of them. And Johnson and Tara was talking to you. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Okay, back to me. I think. Attack. Do you have a cannon? I have a cannon or fire. Okay, I need a cannon. You got it. Okay. Flip it, flip it. Wait. No. <laughs> flip it, flip it. Yeah, that one. He just wants you to collect everything for him to steal it from the <laughs> British. <laughs> Wait, wait, no. We need a vote card. Yeah. Alright, whatever. <laughs> so you got a cannon, cannon, a fire, fire and a water? Oh, torch. fire. You got it. Jack, where are you putting it? I am putting it. Uh, move your hand, Joshua. There. Bam. Right. What's the wind condition? Whoever has uh, the most. When the armada, yeah, when the armada is revealed. Oh, I have the to. Most? I have to hold on to these three gold bars until the very end of the deck. Well, we can. Fill oh yeah. Another boat, too. Oh, this is this is much more strenuous than I thought it was gonna. Be. Oh, and and so you know, once the Spanish galleon is out of treasure, if you attack and succeed, then you get to take treasure from the other boat. Okay. Huh. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. I mutiny. Again? Yes. Do I get to vote? I get to vote no, you don't right? get to vote. No. I get to. I get to vote. <laughs> it doesn't change. <laughs> that was the second round. It's new rules, guys. <laughs> no. Man, you made it again. I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, my turn. Um, I can move the treasure on the boat. Since yep, I'm by that. myself. Why would you want to yeah. do that? Because I want it on the British side. British. I don't think he All is. Right. I'm going to reveal this one. Letter of Mark. So I'll just I'll save this for later. Okay. I'm going to look at two of the event cards. Look at this one. Tell me which one to reveal. That's her elite power. We go one after another. And then I'm gonna look at this one. You do not want to reveal either of those cards. What are they? Bad, Bad. stuff. Yeah. Okay. You can re you can, you can reveal. Two? Yeah, don't reveal those two. You can reveal one of these ones. All right. Is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna throw off the boat? Again, I'm gonna make you reveal one of the bottom two. <laughs> <laughs> she got a gun. Oh, that's too much, man. Read it, read it, read it. Revealer maroons any other place. <laughs> 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Not my my captain. I was so loyal. <laughs> so who are you marooning, Anne? I already threw myself off the ship. <laughs> he dove. Could she technically <laughs> maroon me? The captain found out. Yeah, Run! yeah she could maroon anybody. So. Oh wait a minute. You want to? Wait a minute. I can maroon you. Yeah, you, you can shoot. Josh? You can shoot people on the ship. And if you shoot someone on Tortuga. They lose a vote card, so they play with only one or only two vote cards the rest of the game. That's well, savage. Happens? I say throw Josh off his ship. He's always <laughs> British. What What happens if he doesn't have anybody manning the boat? Can I take his gold? No, so it stays there. There's ways to get back to the boat. So, like, if you threw him off, someone could letter of mark back to the boat. Yeah, or you robot can spend right. an action to get on the rowboat and then get over there. So that's how those work. No, I'm throwing Jeff off. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
so it's my turn. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at a card. I'm gonna reveal a card. Fountain of Youth! Sweet. Um, Jeff, you can have this. Thank you. What? The two of you! <laughs> That's very kind of you. Good, sir. Travis's turn. <laughs> Alrighty. I try to get rid of that wicked captain. She threw me for you. View you two cards again. That card at the bottom must probably still be bad, so I should make her do it. <laughs> or she was lying, they're both great. Probably both great. Let me just look at her facial reaction. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Pretty good right here. This one? Yeah. Right, I'll reveal this one. I hope it's the albatross. That is. Me. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Tortuga. <laughs> That's not. All right, you as the governor. They're British. Right. Wait a second. If both of those two are British, then I'm you gonna have go to be French. I'm going to go on the rowboat. I could do that, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm later. French, and we're working against each other. Do, 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 do. Which means somebody is a liar. Yar, we be having both boats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's All my right, turn. So... Yeah, yeah. Your turn. Uh, I'll take the new car that just came over. I got a letter. All right. Can you read it? Um, no, I'll send Jeff to the ship. So, no, wait, wait, Josh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm I'm actually British. That's why I. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm serious. That's you can't why I'm believe British. that. I just stand and just a black spot. This is this what? is good. No don't, way. Don't send Jeff back. Jeff is French. <laughs> yeah. Get I'm out of here. Send Jeff, Jeff back. <laughs> I don't believe oh, Javis. Well, the other ship, right? Oh, no, that yeah. You're go to the French. Yeah. Oh. Get out of here. Uh, right. I'm actually. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna call for a brawl. <laughs> so, um, so me and Anne both put one in because she's on Tortuga as well. Let me add her in front of the deck here. Okay. So, Anne, you want to put a British flag down? Wait, right. why do I want to put a British flag down? Because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're going to rain cannonballs on the island if you don't. <laughs> All right, can you guys do the shuffle? <laughs> the shuffle shuffle. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's probably good. Okay, so we got a British, British, British. Wow. Oh. All right. So this one goes over here now. That's that's brawl. So does that mean there's three British players again? That means you put a British thing in. Because <laughs> you listen to me. What are you doing? I didn't have many options, guys. <laughs> All right, so Anne, it is your turn now. Okay, well, I will not be listening to you anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to look. I'm just kidding. I'm actually French. <laughs> I don't know if you believe that. See what? Exactly. And if someone views the armada, then we'll just take it out then. And yeah, if you see an armada, take it out, and put it aside. Okay. And just, just so so you know, so when when this deck runs out, we actually shuffle these five cards again. So the armada is going to be one of the last five cards. We don't know. We won't know which one it is though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's... there's a chance that we may not run through four cards. We'll get the exactly. armada. We get the yeah, armada. there might be four cards left when the game ends. 
Are you done? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to... You call... traitorous cabin boy. Uh, call a mutiny! Do it. Call a mutiny. On yourself. <laughs> On yourself. I'll join in. I'll throw in a card. I'm going to attack. Alrighty. With two water buckets? Can I help with the attack? No. I'll be, I'll be a lot of help. Look, I'll help you. I'll help you. Shovel the cards. Oh, we got a torch. Oh, yeah. it worked. No, no, you had it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you can start moving that stuff over to the French side, too, the British side, too. Well, I want to empty the thing first so we can start. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start emptying it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. All right, I'm right, I'm ca attacking. You're attacking. Yep. So cannon and a cannon will fire. Oh damn! Nice. Ba Boom. Damn. Okay, this is com this is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I so I have a letter of mark. I could join one of your ships. Anyone want to want to pitch me? I uh, sail alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The found of you. I sail alone. <laughs> okay. I will view two. Uh, yeah, I'll view two. I don't want to watch any of my loved ones die before my young eyes. Oh God. <laughs> so, so right now the British are winning. Why? We have four. Have two, four or five ships. Or treasures. We have five. Oh. And you guys have three. Correct. Alrighty. I'm feeling that somebody is not being honest. That somebody's you. Could be you, Ann. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> well, Travis lied earlier. <laughs> Travis is flip flopped uh, on both sides. True. <laughs> Travis is our Jack Sparrow. Can you put more treasure on your boat than there's room? You can, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so, Anne, your turn. Okay, I'm going to reveal that event card. Atlantis. So it says, Revealer gives to any other player before any player's turn, owner may move from one ship to the back of the other. Using Atlantis does not count as an action. Discard after use. Give I'm gonna it give to this... me. No, give it to me. Yes. We're the same team. <laughs> Thank you. He gives me the black spot. I give I... him Atlantis. <laughs> I will, yeah, I'll, I'll be nice to you from now on. My turn? <laughs> yeah, Jeff, your turn. All right, and... First of all, why'd you do that? Second of all, <laughs> we're on the same team. You knew what? that already. I'm moving no. this to the French side. I don't know why you voted British earlier. Travis, uh, anyways, go ahead. <laughs> I, didn't... <laughs> I didn't have any cards. An old British card. Why'd you just help a, the opposite team? We were working <laughs> no. together before, and I, I fooled Josh. <laughs> I am I, revealing a card. I, Scurvy! Oh. All players in the same ship or island as a revealer. When Scurvy is revealed, including the revealer, <laughs> loses their next turn. So I don't have an next ah, turn. Right. Yeah. You scurvy dog. Take Need that. more orange juice. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to reveal this one. Crow's Nest. Okay, so revealer discards any player's vote cards, reviews all cards in the vote deck, and replaces that player's hand of vote cards with any cards from the deck. That's weird. Hmm. That's a star card, too. Yeah, so I'm going to discard all of my vote cards and get new ones. That might be tricky, though. Let's see. Well, you know what you want, right? Ooh. Yeah, let's see. I'll just kind of pick them up and then as soon as I find the three I want. <laughs> You know what you're doing, in? You get to cherry pick them? Yep. Yeah. That's what the card does. Um, I would say, Anne, you should... Get off of Tortuga? No. 
You do you. <laughs> yeah. You could draw a card that could get rid of him, or something. I don't know, man. Go kick Josh off his boat. Yeah. No, don't uh, leave me on my boat. There's only six event cards left, so using them up is going to end the game faster. That's not what we need right now. Sorry, still looking. You have like 15 cards in your hand. Yeah. 16, uh, 17. Looking for? I, I'm looking for the certain 15. one. It must be at the very bottom. Yeah. You, you got three more to go through. It puts so. them back before the deck stops being <laughs> Yeah. <in. laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh, let's see. I should put a card back because you just got rid of it. <laughs> Literally uh, did what I, I warned you not to do. <laughs> Sorry. We're just going to have a All stack right. of vote cards. <laughs> yep, now we're not going to have a deck. <laughs> Great. All right. Okay, I'll start tossing them back here. You can't. You got rid of it. We can't shuffle it anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, I told you that. Oh, put them in the bag. I gotta put them in the bag. Yeah, that'll, that'll yeah there you go. Yeah, keep them all in the bag. Just put them all in the bag. It didn't go in. There we go. God, we have no other option but to use a sack. <laughs> we put our cards in the sack. Fine. Uh... Go on. Did you find the card you wanted, at least, Travis? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Can I put the explosion token in the sack? Yes. <laughs> Someone gets the folk explosion token instead of a card. Next time they go to grab it. Yes, new rules. <laughs> and you automatically blow up. It's like Russian roulette plus Tortuga 1667. <laughs> it's very time appropriate. Go in. <laughs> go. Fit. <laughs> all righty. All set. Why are you only... Okay. That's right. good. Okay. We're good? Uh, Anne, we're good. Answering. Your turn. What? Okay. Now, I'm you know going... what team I'm on, Ann. You know what team you're on. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think. All right. If it was just me on Tortuga, can I decide to move the gold? You can. Yeah, you can call for a brawl then. You've got to fight him. He has a hand picked set of cards in his hand, though. I don't think that'll work out. But what if I kick him off the island? You can't kick me off. If... Uh... If you injure me, if you maroon me again, you'll go to the front of the line, so you'll become the governor, and I'll just go behind you. <laughs> just, just I'm going to go. Take a boat. Go. Get on a rowboat. All right. All right. I'm going to... And who said he could come to me? I'm going to take your boat. I am captain now. Yeah. I'm going to blast these fools. <laughs> Right. That's, <laughs> that's, well, that's, that's what that is. Oh well. It works. Ta -da! Uh do I hit them or the islands? Yeah, uh, you will hit them. Yep. Oh, no, notice my gold. Yep. Yeah. Suck okay. <laughs> it. Go ahead. Okay, then Josh is skipped. Okay, I'm going to reveal Why does Josh get skipped? He has scurvy. That's uh, disgusting. Okay, I'm revealing this one. I'm gonna shoot Jeff. Uh, oh no, you protect me. Oh no! And I discard it. Dang it. Yep. So if you hold shift, it will make a pile. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you to Age of Edder. Shuffle pile? Hey, how about that? I don't see that happening. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy Jesus shit! <laughs> what did you do? You made the bag spit up. <laughs> I did. The bag threw up all the cards. I don't. How are you making a pile? I don't see that. It, it was working for. I, I did it for this one. Oh, I learned how to spin cards. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's alt. No, oh, it was. There we go. There we go. All right, well, you, you work on that. I am going to. That's not the right way. That's why. 
It's not. You're, you're, Get out of here with that. <laughs> your files, come on. <laughs> it's not working anymore. <laughs> Can you please <laughs> get okay. out of here, please? Um, I'm gonna board the ship. There's nothing I need to do, right? Just board right. it. Yep, you're on. <laughs> on. Quit. That's. Can you combine stacks? No, Piles? the stack on the middle of the table is not helping anyone. <laughs> <laughs> is it Jeff's turn now? Yeah, it's Jeff's turn now. Great. You just put well, a vote card on top of his card. That's good. I'm gonna call for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's learn how to make a deck first, and then we can shuffle them. Did you hold down shift and place it? How did you get it on? Oh, if I turn my camera, I can move this faster here. I when you sh you just hold shift, yeah, you like holding and then onto this place it. Here, what is wrong with the red card? You, it's not. It's not. <laughs> is this locked, Josh? What are you holding <laughs> you this card? It. <laughs> it's Unlock this card. It's not I part of the it. deck. It's not going back into the deck. Move it. <laughs> Why am I? Yep. All right, Stop I, dropping I, it on the deck. You have to wait till it's highlighted a whole bunch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I lighted it orange? Yes. Yeah, dude. He was just like, <laughs> oh, why is it stacking? I'm dropping it on top of it. <laughs> it should work. Alright, there's one. Josh, move your card. I'm not touching it. <laughs> God, I hate them. I hate us. Okay. Uh, oh, now it's orange. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, you see, finally. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Also, there's this card. Okay. Wait, stop. Yeah, did you? That's it's fine. not highlighted orange. It's not highlighting. Well, forget it. You should. take you do that one, but it, but it didn't. Nice. There. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote now. Here's the thing. Oh look, I played a cannon. Obviously. Okay. Got water. You threw water on your cannon. Oh wow. Hey, the thing's <laughs> over. That uh, wasn't that fun. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So it's my turn. Okay, Josh. Yeah. Five event cards left. So I can maroon and back to Tortorga, right? Yeah, you could. All right, and bye. <laughs> I just, I just go. Yep. Yeah, you just go. <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good thing you let's... rode over there. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you spent like two turns doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna view two. Oh my god, that's great. So now, isn't the aren't the French winning? Yes, the French are winning. Aren't yeah, you French? We're French, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god, tell me you're not French. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> That's assuming you had a mind to start off with. We were working together to fill our boat with French stuff. <laughs> I kicked you out and, and confused Josh and Travis. Josh gave me the fountain of youth. Then, yeah. for some reason, you started voting for British things as well, which made even less sense. Nobody <laughs> knows what they are. <laughs> I didn't have any other. So, smart. like, you try to do a double, 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 double blind. Spoiled <laughs> our plot. Um, whose turn is it? What's happening? Uh, it's, it's your turn, Anne. I just viewed two. He was My turn now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look at cards. Just drag them both. That's just one card. So, Jeff, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to 
Yay! Reveal a card, which I don't often do. Thanks, Mark. Pistol. Moon oh, uh, hey, Anne. Yeah. I'm going to maroon Josh for you. Thanks, appreciate it. Well, what's that? Wait, wait a minute. If I maroon Travis, he goes to the back of the island? Yeah, I'd, I'd go to the two spot, and Anne would be the governor. And then you can call Nah, I'll maroon Josh. You maroon Josh. You all can go to hell. <laughs> I hit you all. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Um, this card right here is a good one. This one? It's a black spot. It's Remember not a black spot. Me? No, I'm good. It was a really great card. Ah, it's the letter. You can, you can use that to go back to your boat to hold down that treasure. Can you use it now? Or, or actually, you could. What if you went to Jeff's boat? Yeah, you can use it right now. If you go to Jeff's boat, then I'll also go to Jeff's boat, and you're gonna get kicked off. Then we can mutiny against him. We could, and then we could just switch oh. all the treasure. Exactly. Um, or well, yeah. It just Bring he it can kick he can kick one of us off. So I'm wondering if maybe you should just go to the other ship to hold down that one. Yeah. We go to the other ship and just no. keep attacking them. <laughs> you got yeah. This. I don't know. Maybe go to his ship. Let's we can see how it goes down. All right. Let's let's go. Okay. So I'm also gonna use mine. So, and your governor now. Yep. Which means I can decide. I, how do I move this stuff? You got to do a brawl. What do you guys do? With myself? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, well, use your letters to go to my boat? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. What you got, Ann? Anything helpful? Um. You get one of them off my boat, then I can kick the other one off. No. Well, how would I do that? And take one of the treasures. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do a brawl. Are you gonna? Do you have a flag <laughs> card? Yeah. There we go. Good luck. That just means that I need another French flag card, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. Ah, uh, no, I failed. One and one, so it'll split. That's... It. Oh, split ah. it. Damn. Oh. Well, that's not bad. I mean, and one still moved over. I thought zero were going to move over. Diggity dang. Well, okay. my turn. Um, I will maroon Travis. Aww. He has a hand-picked hand of cards. Get out of here. Well done. <laughs> uh, and now Josh can try to kick me out. Yep. All right. Good luck, Josh. Can I vote? Nope. Oh. I feel like I should vote. This is a pretty key. Uh, why why oh, is there an extra card? Go back in there. Mine. Uh, it's gone you now. Threw, you put my car in the. Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's see. Blast. Well. Um, Josh, do you know where any good cards are? I have not looked at any cards. <laughs> okay. I've only <laughs> grabbed randomly. One, guys, you should take this. Maybe one. I'll come. I'll come onto the boat. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. going to reveal a card. That one? Yep. Albatross. So the Albatross says, Revealer keeps his card for the rest of the game. All players on a ship with two Albatross on board are marooned. That's fine. And now I've drawn a new one. I just did it. Well, oh. you shouldn't have. Okay, and now it's, now it's Jeff's turn. Okay. Um. Well, now I will... Uh, Ruin me? Kick Josh off. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. This is my boat. Uh, your turn? Uh, Josh, maybe you could... View some cards. Yeah. Yeah. And your albatross. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I say keep revealing event cards. We need the game to end first. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Josh, pick this so one. I would do. I should have to keep kicking people off the boat when they arrive. 
So it's my turn? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for paying attention. I mean... Man. Oops. What'd you do? <laughs> you're just flipping random cards? What are you I'm doing? looking at two cards. Oh. What are the cards? Um, stuff and things. All right. All right. Um, is there anything that will get Jeff off his boat if I were to reveal it, like a, a um, gun or something? No, no, there wasn't a gun. There was a thing that let you get an extra vote card, and then play two. Okay. Okay. If you want that. No, I don't think I don't think Where's right that now. one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was the one on the all the way on the left. Fire. This one? Right here? Yeah, the left. So his left. I'm looking at it uh, vertically, so there's no left. <laughs> Alright, so well no I'm gonna try something. Down. Okay, so I'm I'm moving onto this boat, but then I'm gonna use Atlantis. Uh that lets me jump to the other boat. You have to do that before a player's turn. So I'll do that before Ann's turn. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. I'm going to reveal... Did you want to do anything on your turn? Because you could do that Ann's turn and then take an action. Um, my turn was oh, uh, getting onto the boat. You didn't have to do that, though. I do. With Atlantis, you have to be on a boat to use it. I got... El Dorado, Revealer gives to any other player. Owner immediately draws an extra vote card. Owner may play two vote cards in any one future vote. Discard it after the vote. Okay. Here, Jeff. You get that. Thank you. And okay, I see what you're saying, uh, So I immediately draw an extra vote card. Cool. I, for some reason, have a floating vote card that doesn't exist in my hand as well. Um... We play two vote cards in my next vote. Yes. In any future vote, excuse me. Cool. In any future vote? So it doesn't have to be like your yeah. whatever? It's just uh, I mean, you have to be part of the vote. You're voting oh. in. Oh. I thought you meant like you could jump in. Uh, well, I could reveal an event card or I could attack. I'm going to attack. Eh, don't matter. <laughs> Boom. Yes! Oh, dang it. Man, this is a da, 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 da. Uh, Too much treasure on this boat. <laughs> Dude, the boat's gonna capsize. It's gonna go... Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, Alright, uh, Josh, um... Card. I think you should look again. We gotta find something. Alright. Yeah, you should find the last card. That's what you should find. <laughs> well, one of them is... is the card. Well, this one is going to be, well, I guess it might already be in there, huh? Because we don't know what's at the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if it, yeah. I mean, if, if Tell... we do view the armada, we should just pull it out and replace it yeah. here. Um, Travis, tell Jeff yeah. to pick one of the right two cards. Okay. All right, Jeff, pick one of these two. Uh, okay. Not my turn. I'm doing it on it, your turn. No. It's mine. Yeah, I'm forcing you to Huzzah! pick one. Black spot. Damn. Nice. Okay, okay, so is five. that the last one? So now we shuffle these five. That's bad for them, man, because now I can um, brawl on this island. Let's see. Can we make these a deck and yeah. shuffle them? And summon a brawl. But I got to get back on the ship. Oh, it doesn't matter, oh, does no, it? You're the governor, dude. Fight. That works. And I can Because these are already still, even though there's no captain on the Jolly Roger, these we're still gonna count have a, for the French. We're going to totally yeah, shut them out. Yeah, they still count French. Total shout out. Are you ready? Yes. Total, total Tortuga shout out. It's going to be Here so it comes. good. All right. All right. So as governor of Tortuga, I declare a brawl. That sounds All great. Right. Well done. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, where's your card? 
Yeah. It's there. No, I don't see her. Boom. <laughs> British, British. Wait, what was it? Three Which French to two British. Wait, how are there five? Oh, did you use El two? Dorado. Dorado. Okay. Dang. Shout out. <laughs> Not so yet. Now you need to pull the final card out of the event deck. It's a savage right here. <laughs> I don't see many shutouts. This is impressive for the French. <laughs> That's because we're really good at this game, obviously. And I can use Josh really early. You did. Yeah. All right, well. Um, oh, now it's my turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can't get any more treasure. What happens now? You gotta pull an event deck card to end the game. We gotta maintain our treasure until the end. Yeah, if you if you draw the armada, it'll end. I think I'd rather go to the rowboat. What? That's, that's fine. <laughs> and not end the game. <laughs> if I just reveal it, it ends. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Oh, you just died. <laughs> so, so you go to the back of the line of Tortuga, which you're already there, but you also lose a random boat card. Um. So you'll just play with two boat cards. I don't know how how we can do it random, but. I guess we can just pick one. Okay, so we'll get rid of... Put one in the deck. Okay. Alrighty. That works. Okay, uh, Josh, I, I don't know what to tell ya. <laughs> <laughs> you could, I mean, you could get on the rowboat and start going over to the Dolly Roger, just for giggles. We can own both boats, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, but we don't want to reveal any cards because that'll end the game quicker. Wait, totally. This one's great. You should reveal the so one on the right. Listen to her. We shuffled them up. That one's really good. You okay. just knocked Jeff over. What? what oh. did you... yeah, I'm going to attack the Jolly Roger. Do I get to play a card too, right? No. I get to, I get to play a card. How do you shuffle? Do you just let's see? There's a shuffle button. Right click. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, we got a. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> nothing. Nothing's going our way. I played this card. But... <laughs> All right. I got a cannon and a fire, but it was negated by the water card that came yeah. out of the deck. Yeah. That's so good. All right. Well, we're just going for event cards, so. Go yeah. To town. Okay, so I would like to have. Uh, I'll see what happens here. Maybe I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot be on a boat again. anymore. So <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so if Van ever went to a boat, she'd immediately jump off. She's like a she's like a walking bomb now with two albatross. Yeah. I What'd did you get? eight bells. Eight what does bells. that do? All players on the island are put in a pouch and drawn randomly back. Oh, so I'm gonna lose my governor spot. Maybe. Oh. It's just you and me, though. No, look! I'm back as governor. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Yeah. I'm captain! Alright. Sweet! It's too late to do anything, but I'm here. Okay, well, I will... I will attack again, try to get a treasure. <laughs> He's attacking your boat, Josh. Defend yourself. <laughs> okay. Have some respect for yourself, Joshua. Shuffle... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, it's this one and this yes. one. All right, we got it. Bam. It's not a shutout. <laughs> okay, so we get one. Oh, oh, I, I moved that. it. Okay. <laughs> well, you assume I'm on the British? What we need to do now. I mean, do, do, do you just want to go from French to French? No, no, we're good. So what does the explosion token do? So there's a card. I don't think it's in this deck. It's one of the starred cards called Black Powder. If you draw that, you can choose to blow up one of the rowboats. So ah. it can't be used for us to get. Ow. Oh, it's my turn now? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna... uh -huh. Alrighty, well, it wasn't a shutout, and we got both ships, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Spanish Armada card. Game ends when that card is revealed. I have all of the birds. All of them. <laughs> All of them. Yep. This is my loyalty card. Huzzah! Huzzah! Well done, Frenchies. Undefeated. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Tabletopia is pretty rad. This game's fun too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so that's kind of how it goes. And you can actually play with two players as well. Um, and it's actually a lot more fun than you think. Obviously, you know who the other person's team is. Yeah. Um, but players, you get two actions on your turn. So you can view or reveal cards, or sometimes you'll move on to a ship and mutiny. There's actually not a lot of attacking for treasure in two player games, just kind of a chess match of moving, deciding when to move where. And anyways, then yeah, with the, with odd players, you add in a Dutch player, and they win if the game ends in a tie. So they're, they're trying to just kind of maintain balance the whole game and uh, jump in sides like that. That's got to be really tough trying to maintain your gold when it's like you and one other player. I mean, it's got to change your whole focus on the game. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what inspired you to make this game? Oh, man. It's hard Are to trace. Are you a Johnny Depp fan? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like I like those movies, I guess. Yeah. I, I think see the this, newest one? I have not yet. I need to. But uh, I think this one started with the idea of, of the mutiny, just like the idea that you're working with people on your same boat to attack things, and then the next moment you're throwing your captain overboard. Some nice backstab. I love backstabbing my games. My first game, Salem, has some nice, uh, nice backstabbing going on too. So yeah, that's kind of where it started. Went through a lot of different iterations. Like we had Tortuga used to be a ghost ship. Where like dead players would go and do stuff and um yeah. Portuga used to be a ghost ship. Yeah, the the island used to be a, a like oh, a third ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Did I you saw the. You to a ghost ship or you were murdered? Uh, yeah, it was you were murdered. Oh, Pretty cool. Much. Okay. I saw that you've got a bunch of pirates in here. Did you draw from history on who the pirates were? Yeah. Are they just kind of made up people? Yep, yeah, these are all real people. Um, so they're all, they were all alive in 1667, roaming the Caribbean. So actually in our, in our rule book, we have all their biographies, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, they're all, they're all real people. That's really cool. That's cool that you mentioned, like, they were alive, they were real pirates, and they were alive in 1667 yeah. when the game takes place. What is the significance? the significance of 1667 so it was kind of just a golden golden age of piracy in the caribbean um and that was the year that kind of just they um so you're a, a pre-napoleonic war pirate fan not a not a during or post -apocalypse. yeah I, I guess so <laughs> um i'm more of a horatio hornblower fan all right during and post Oops. okay Cool. Are you familiar with those books? I'm not. Uh, it's it's good pirating adventure. Cool. Basically. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's kind of the researching the island of Tortuga itself. So Tortuga was used as like a pirate haven, sort of. So people, pirates from the British and the French and the Dutch, they all kind of lived there together. They were like sort of friends, but sort of friends in that they all attacked the Spanish ships, um, but then there was also sort of like allegiances among each other too. So just some cool dynamics going on. That's why we chose that island, Tortuga. You say we, did you develop this with somebody else? Uh, my, my wife and I are the main developers. We have we have a group of play testers that we work with every week. Um, yeah, it's, it's mostly just just my wife and I are the facade games. Uh, that's our company. Did and we have an illustrator. Did you start with two players when you started making this, or did you start at more players and then design backwards? I so, so. yeah, I started with more more players. I always wanted it to be up in the eight nine range at least. So I feel like I feel like there's a there's a need for more games like that that fits larger numbers uh, of players. So yeah, yeah, definitely more thematic ones because. Uh, I yeah. mean, like, there's a couple now, like, you know, Secret Hitler, stuff like that, that fill, like, a large yeah. player count thematic social game, but there aren't a lot, for sure. Yeah. Uh, we had a question about the game 
case itself. So yeah. your game case for Tortuga is actually shaped like a bookcase? Yes. Um, can you still see my Skype screen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's right here. So it's a looks like a book. Um, That's really cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah so, and actually, our so many people okay. display their games on their shelfies. So it's such uh -huh. a nice, creative way to have the game on on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what we were thinking. Like, my game closet's a mess, and all the boxes are kind of weird shapes, and they all I don't know. It's it's a mess. So yeah. When we started our first game, this is actually our first game, Salem, right here. Also came oh, in the book. Oh, it's also a game, a bookcase. That's neat. Yeah, yeah. It's consistent. So, so we're we're actually doing a series right now called the Dark City series. Um, so each game will have a city in a year, and it'll come in a book. So our the third one in the series will come out in January of next year. So. That's awesome. I like. Uh different packaging ideas. There was like an old RPG that came out called Zombie Cinema that came in like an old VHS case. Um, cool. You're going to have to explain what a VHS yeah. case is for some of our younger viewers. Uh, I refuse to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so no. You Google it. But yeah, any, cool. kind of, yeah. al any kind of alternative packaging like that. So, uh, yeah. It's interesting. It's fun. It's stuff you can't really do with other other media forms necessarily. So. Right. The artwork on here is absolutely gorgeous. Did you use the same yeah. artist for Salem and Tortuga, or yep. different artists? Yep, same artist. Her name's Sarah Keel. She, uh, yeah, she does a great job. This map's like a, a mouse pad style map that rolls out, right? Yeah, I'll pull that out real quick. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, rolls out. That that's kind of the idea that it's supposed to be like a treasure map that you roll up and kind of yeah. just adds to the theme of it. Makes it really portable too, like if yeah, light yeah. Work, so yeah, I like that. So Travis, the game uh, was on Kickstarter. It's already funded. Already, the Kickstarter's closed. How does somebody go about now getting their hands on a copy of the game? Yeah. So if you go, it's still available for pre-order. So if you go to our Kickstarter page, just type Kickstarter Tortuga sixteen sixty seven. There's a big blue button on there that will take you to. Uh, our pre-order page basically it's it's just like a dollar or two more than it was on kickstarter but you can still pre-order it um but yeah we're, we're gonna get all the games in august so people can also just wait till august late august well actually september is when it'll be available for people who don't pre-order uh but it'll be on amazon and and in stores so yeah and then tor or our first game salem it's on it's on amazon now just to search Salem card game, you'll find it. What's the price point on the games? So Salem is twenty bucks, and then Tortuga is going to be twenty four ninety nine. What about the new ones you just mentioned? Do you have, are you trying to design in the same space, like affordable, like compact, or are you trying to go bigger in the future? Um, we'll we'll keep it the same. Like we're gonna have all of our our games in the series are gonna be this size. Um. We're actually coming out. So Salem, our first game, this one's smaller, but our second edition is coming out in a few months, um, and it'll be the same, the same size as Tortuga as well. So. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting packaging. It must have been hard to find a manufacturer that could do that well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Who came up? But, who came up with the idea to do the different packaging? So packaging's always been important to me. Um, I think my mom always said. As soon as the game box breaks, the game is ruined. <laughs> I can just kind of, cause like, as soon as you don't have a good box, you just start losing pieces. I don't know. Anyways, so that was important to me. But my my wife and I, we were looking for ideas because we knew we wanted to do something different. We were just walking through a craft store, and we saw they had some of these these faux books on the shelf, and it just immediately clicked. That that's what we wanted to do. Ah, so, that's so cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, what happened to the vote cards? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been having fun laying out the vote cards? Um, I stopped paying attention. Okay. Where did Where did Where did Josh go? I don't know. 
Uh, Death Tower yeah. says that the bookcase looks awesome. Uh, everybody thinks that, that the bookcase idea is absolutely amazing. So, Thanks. Congratulations. It's super unique, super neat. Great idea. Thanks. It really adds something different, you know, to the game. Right. Well, there's so many games that come out every year now. Uh, differentiating, like, differentiating yourself in the marketplace is very difficult now for a lot of new games coming out. Having yeah. any kind of edge, whether that's unique packaging or, I don't know, having sparkly gloss print on all your cards or whatever. If you look at, like, Laser Riders that just came out. Actually, that now that I think about it, that's like a VHS packaging, too. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of games are trying to, you know, change the paradigm on that stuff a little bit. Uh, it's a good idea yeah. because you can't just keep releasing like the same games in the same box shapes um, that are boring. Because people right. Don't about to keep buying them. They just think it's the same shit. Yeah, there's or, a lot of games be, out there. Uh, well, I mean, you could be like Mayfair and keep releasing like the same box size with you know weird art of old men on the cover like holding sheep and people still buy it so that's true <laughs> too i guess yeah um and i'm guilty of buying those games because i like them yeah. what <laughs> is uh let's talk a little bit about ta uh, tabletopia how did you get your game onto tabletopia yeah so just during the kickstarter campaign they messaged me i i was actually pretty unfamiliar with um this whole tabletop simulation worlds um, so they, I don't know, they just kind of talked me through it and asked if I'd be interested, and it's been pretty easy working with them, just kind of sent them the, the files they needed, and they put it all together for me. Um, so yeah, it's been really good. Like, it's, I think it's just a fun way to kind of get the game out there to, to more eyes, more people to see it. Um, and the hope is that people will play it on here and like it and then want to get the real thing. So, yeah, it's been good. They've been good to work with. Do you get anything? Where's your cut? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Travis's cut in all this? Yeah, so with Tabletopia, I think we've restricted certain player numbers to, like, a premium subscription. So I think if you want to play with more than six players or something, then you have to be a premium subscriber to Tabletopia. Okay. And basically, if depending on how much the premium users play our game during the month, we get a cut of that. So it... It doesn't yeah. come out to very much, but it's it's more to just kind of get the eyes on it, and it's fun. So, so it, maybe it's enough to to justify the effort that it takes to get the files over to Tabletopia. Yeah, yeah, it was really easy. So yeah, it's it'll it'll pay for itself really so quick. So they they made it for you. You didn't have to. Like, yeah, yeah, I I, didn't, I wouldn't know how to program this this stuff okay. on the computer, it, but yeah, it seems they, like a good resource for people to make prototypes in and test them. But yeah, that's great totally. that they would do all the work for you and. Plus, so it's like free advertising um, yeah. for both of you, I guess, since it's such a, a successful Kickstarter. So. Right. Um, yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Do you plan on using them again for your future yeah. games? Yeah, I think I will. They've been good to work with, and yeah, I mean, since they, they make it, it's very minimal work for us. So, yeah, if, if in the next few months there's nothing weird that happens, I think we'll keep doing it. What um is that wall of stuff behind you? Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, my, I'll turn my light on one sec. It's like I want to look at your face, but I keep seeing. <laughs> yeah. So, I was in Illinois a few summers ago, and my wife and I drove by a blockbuster, and our first thought was like a blockbuster, like I thought we're all gone. <laughs> yeah. So we went inside, and they were going out of business, of course. So they were uh, selling all their old DVD covers for like five cents a piece. So <laughs> five cents, I was like, yeah, we'll take all of them pretty much. So so we just bought a bunch of covers. So we don't actually own any of those movies. Uh, we you just own covers. DVD covers. <laughs> yeah. <That's> insane. <laughs> so my, my wife says she's going to condemn it to our basement pretty soon, but yeah, you're oh well. I, I don't own these movies, but I will hang <laughs> images of it on my wall. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a patchwork quilt if you didn't say anything. It's, it's a magic eye. You gotta uh, unfocus. You gotta stare at the middle yeah. really, really tight and then watch yeah. the image appear. Yeah, that's true. Good lord. 
Jeff, you're doing a really great job of not dating yourself with your magic eyes and your VHS tapes. You act like you've never seen Mall Rats. Like, there's a magic eye in it. It's a very famous reference. Um, go to hell. <laughs> you ever seen Mall Rats? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh my god, what's wrong with you people? That's so much. That's I'm sorry, life. I don't mean to shame you. It's a... I apologize. I just. It's a movie yeah. from 95. It. Are you kidding me right now? And are you kidding me right now? Wow. Uh, oh, it's after Clerks? Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about this later. What is the chat saying about this? Because I hope they are... That's a lot of DVD covers. They really like the fact Anne is that... A, they said, oh, it's okay. Anne is a mom. <laughs> is that the Anna. excuse you want for things? <laughs> Guys, I'm a mom. It's okay. It's, I can't do that. I'm a mom. I don't need to know about that. I'm a mom. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Uh, Ed Rayfart. Yeah, because you're a mom. <laughs> so what happens when I'm you're a dad? Mom? I've seen movies. That's that's not a fair excuse at all. <laughs> oh, um, a lot of people were commenting about how this is a the differentiation between official DLC versus unofficial DLC. Oh when it comes to uh, virtual tabletop simulators. Uh-huh. How did you, how would you feel, I guess as a game designer, if you had heard that somebody went around and unofficially made your game on tabletop simulator? Um, simulator just, and not, not specifically maybe that brand, I know that there is a brand called tabletop simulator, I'm just being. Right. No, yeah, so on Tabletop Simulator specifically, they are actually making a, a DLC. I think that's like the official version, right? Yeah, so they are making that. We, we had a user make make it um, just from the print and play, and I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I think it's cool. It's fun, fun to see the engagement. But, but yeah, we do an official DLC coming out on Tabletop Simulator soon. Sounds cool. Um, Go ahead. Any other questions, gentlemen? Yeah, I was gonna say like, uh, so obviously like you're designing games. Uh, are you playing any games, or do you, you got time for that? Hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so we have a we have a play test night every every Thursday where people come over and and yeah, most of it's playing our games because just because we have to play it, you know, hundreds of times to right. figure it out. So that takes up most of the time. But you know, I do I do enjoy other games. Some of my favorites are kind of the classics. I feel like they're classics for a reason. Like Pandemic's good, Stars of Catan, Ticket to Ride. Um, love a good game of Werewolf Mafia. The One Night Werewolf. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Any like? Do you have any game that's like super obscure that you love? Oh man. I I mean I've tried some, but none that I'd like. Love, love. Yeah. All right. I, I love Betrayal of House on the Hill. That's not like obscure, but I was in a big phase of that for a while. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, yeah. All right. Don't like unpopular games. <laughs> Into yeah. the popular hits. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Well. If you want to be successful, you should play the games that people like. <laughs> I guess, right? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I need. I need to play more games. I really do. Uh, that's what a lot of people say. Um, it's hard because you have to invest in learning and teaching everyone, getting everyone together. Some yeah. people love playing new games. Some people hate it. Yeah. You gotta get the right group. You know, kind of the thing about making games is. You know, I'll only release a game if I absolutely love playing it. So I, I just love playing my games. I know it's like weird to say, feel bad saying it, but I don't know. I, people come over, I just want to play, want to play Salem, and I want to play Tortuga. <laughs> yeah. And now my, my, the third game we're working on now, it's really, really fun to play. Well, I think the best designers design the games that they want to play. Exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. Rather than trying to design for an audience or for a marketplace, um, yeah, you know, then there's designers like Reiner Knizia, who uh, just keep designing over and over and over things that are mathematically functional, and then sell the ideas out to be themed, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So like, I yeah. guess there's a, there are a couple of schools of design, but the most fun 
are those that are loved by the designers that made them. Yeah. You got anything to say, Anne, about any of that? Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I mean, that's one of the things I have learned doing a lot of interviews. Everybody says the rule number one for game design is always playtest, playtest, playtest. And in order to do as much playtesting as is necessary to come up with a really great game, you've got to really love the game. Mm-hmm. You get, or, or you get yeah. burnt out on it, you know? Yeah. So- uh, Travis, you coming to any cons coming up? Yeah, I'll be at Gen Con. Uh, that's the next one. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be at Dice Tower Con, which is like two weeks. A week and a half. Where's that one? It's next Wednesday. Oh, Josh, are you, Josh, you're here? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard you speak for like a half hour, so I thought... <laughs> I kind of ran off for a second. Disconnect. <laughs> No, no, no. The cat was yelling and everything, and I let you guys do your thing. It's the Jeff and Anne show. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Um, yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we'll see you at Gen Con then. That's cool. All right. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have um, your new stuff there. Your secret new stuff. It's gonna be close. We might. Well. So we're... prototypes. Yeah. Yeah, we might we might have that there. We're hoping to have uh, Tortuga delivered by then too. Well, it'll probably be delivered right after, but have some copies we can show people and second edition of Salem uh, cool. there too. So I would like to take pictures of your Tortuga. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. And play your new game if you have it there. Yep. All right. Cool. Awesome. Travis, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you coming on, taking your time to play with us, show everybody a really cool game. Yeah, um, that was fun. Yeah, I thanks, encourage everybody to head over to the Kickstarter. I had the link up there. Let me just grab it one more time for you guys in chat. Uh, like Travis was saying, pre-order is still an available option. So that is a great way and idea to <laughs> to get your hands on the game. Jeff, or Travis, is there anything else that you would like to let our lovely audience know before we say goodnight to you? Um, our company website's facadegames.com if you want to learn more about us there as well. So, Do you yeah. have a, a newsletter we can sign up for? Uh, yeah, there's a spot on there you can sign up. There you go. Email, Perfect. So. Great. Yeah. So, Travis, we are going to say goodnight to you. Uh, Everybody else, stick around for a little bit. We'll just go over what we've got coming up next. Thank you, Travis. Thanks, Thanks, Travis. Bye. Bye. He's gone. He's gone. (laughs) All right, I need to fix the uh, overlay. Okay. Because it went all... Are we still live? Yeah, we're still live. Yeah, we are still live. Are we playing an ad? No, no, we're no. just we're just here. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is just... the part that Josh gets the we're cut abiding. later. That's fine. Yep. <clears throat> that was fun. I liked that game. I had a good time. I liked it too. Yeah. It was interesting. The wind condition wow. is like you have to hold out until you get that last card. We were destroying them so hard. There's nothing we could do. I mean, we're um, awesome. Like, because I, yeah, I mean, I was running like mental circles around them, so <laughs> can't really blame them too much. <laughs> they didn't know what they were up against. Whoa, this is really amusing watching from the Twitch perspective. Watching Josh futz around with the overlay live, how we shrank and stretch. Oh, I feel like yeah. super stretch man. Oh, there I am. I just strong. opened it. Ta-da! Yeah, you're moving my face right. around. There you go. Yep. That's that's how we do this. All <laughs> right. Do this? How we roll. That's how we roll. Well, you can you can see. Do like... we want to do an honest review section? Yeah, yeah. So let's let's finish this off, and then okay. we'll end the recording and start our second recording. So. Okay. Uh, you want to finish it off by talking about our schedule for next week? Um, we'll do that after everything. We'll talk about our schedule. So okay. so then make the overlay nice, and so th- I'll let you do the intro for the honest review section, Josh. You need to do outro for this section. Oh. 
That's a really good idea. Yeah. You want to do that or you want me to do that? No, you can do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Tortuga 1667. Uh, the gameplay video. We're going to be doing a review in just a second, so it's a soft sign off, whatever. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Josh. I'm Ann. I'm Jeff. Thanks, everyone.